My name is uh, Pauline Wajiko Kibui. I got selected as a mark, more than a mother campaign embryology trainer through the Kenya Fertility Association and through the doctor who is working in this facility. She got to, she knew that I'm qualified and she knew my profession. They gave me the chance to represent Kenya in the embryology training in, in, in Indonesia. So it was quite a good, a good uh, experience of being offered a chance to advance my skills and actually advance my career. My name is Emmanuel Okolo. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist. Mark is looking at increasing the awareness about infertility in Africa, especially Sub-Saharan Africa that uh, infertility will be bumped up amongst the list of um, crucial or necessary healthcare benefits to the public. Uh, the other angle that Mark is looking at is male infertility. Men may also have a problem and that problem needs to be addressed and dealt with. Otherwise, we'll be running around in circles. Uh, Mark is also looking at uh, the social impact of infertility especially to the woman and also to the man, that uh, a woman is more than just a baby-making machine. And so because a woman cannot have a child doesn't mean she's worthless in the society. And that's one thing. Another thing that Mark is looking at, that how would we get the society to look at the woman more than just a baby-making machine? And for that, I feel proud to be a part of this, about what, what Mark is doing. I must say I am proud to be associated with Mark because Mark is a leading provider in artificial reproductive treatment worldwide, recognized. They've been doing this for years. And uh, just to have my name attached to Mark for that reason is uh, very exciting. We are so very glad to be participated in this program as we believe that the core of a good uh, services in Africa is based on good quality human resources and that's why we feel that engaging in partnerships such as what Merck has started is really a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to share experience to our African friends. So we look forward to be able to uh, train some more people from Africa to help out uh, in improving better care to inf infertility management uh, in around the world. Pauline and Emmanuel has been an ex extremely uh, wonderful example how they're very excited to uh, engage themselves in a wonderful uh, training process and I'm very sure they'll be able to establish themselves as a, a really highly dedicated embryologist that would show example to the rest of the embryologist uh, community in, in Africa in the future. So good luck guys. So what they're building up at the moment is uh, uh, empowering themselves to be able to uh, maintain a good high standards in the embryology laboratory and uh, that is a really important part in and also crucial in providing the cost-effective outcome to any IVF program. So I think um, when they come back home they'll be able to show that uh, very clearly when uh, the IVF laboratory has uh, been uh, providing a good outcome uh, people will come back with uh, good faith and trust and that obviously will build up the uh, the numbers in uh, IVF cycles in Africa. Yeah, we've been here for the last two months and it's been really exciting and we're really thankful for the experience that we've had and uh, we're excited to take the knowledge that we have acquired here back home to our countries and I know that there'll be many, many people going through the same process with you as you also started a program of training and I wish you all the best of luck in that. Thank you. It has been a really exciting moment for us to be here it has answered most of my questions that I had in embryology and it has actually cemented my knowledge in embryology. So I really wish to go also and take back the knowledge back home and I hope, I look forward to a greater collaboration between Africa and Asia.